People jump up and say, yeah, Muhammad had, had children by other women. 28 children he, he was the father of. Now he had eight. He done got 20 more by six of his secretaries. That's flying around every which way. There's a certain man that's putting out these kind of uh, bills about it. Now let me tell you something. Did those six secretaries say that Elijah Muhammad gave them children? Do they have birth certificate for those children? Hmm. Have they proved such a thing in court? Huh? We haven't we haven't asked we haven't asked no court proof of nothing, right? Right. They went to the FBI and got this kind of a, a document from them saying that Muhammad fathered those children. Glory be, if he was able, if he was able to father 50 children, Allah frees him from such. That's right. If Jesus was a sign of him, you never do see where that Joseph was guilty of committing adultery with Mary. And in the and in John, first and forty-five tells us that we have found him, the son of Mary, Jesus of Nazareth, and Joseph. Say nothing about no God up there. In another place they saw him. They said, it's not this the brother to so and so and so. Three of them. And our people jump up and shout. Yeah, he gave his only begotten son. For who? Who did he give him for? Go ahead, teach me. Because he didn't come to your rescue, did he? What have Jesus done for you that he didn't do for me? What did he do for you? You still begging? Just like Lazarus at the rich man's gate. He couldn't go home until somebody come along and drag him away and carry him home. And then the angel had to come and get him and carry him and put him in Abraham's bosom. How can you stick a man in? Oh, mine ain't big enough. In Abraham's bosom. Biggest lie was ever told. That doesn't mean that. Yeah, God made me. Huh? Let's continue this a little part here. Yes. The nature, the nature, yes, was made perfect at his advent. And according to the Quran, Islam is the natural religion of man. The nature made by Allah in which he has made men. Listen. The nature made by Allah in which he has made men. And the truth
There is no altering of Allah's creation. You cannot alter it. Can't do nothing with it. Just leave it like it is. But they tried to alter it. That is the right religion. Read chapter 30, verse 30. And since according to the Holy Quran, prophets was raised among different nations in different ages, and the religion of every true prophet was in its first time purity, no other than Islam. What, what you waiting on? Going back to the church and tell the preacher I lied, bring the preacher here and let him prove me a lie. Yes, sir, that's right. That's right. I make him drop dead standing right down there for telling you lies. God called him to preach. Ask him how did God call him to preach? Tell you, you say you wouldn't understand even if I told you. That's what he would say. And I guess not. That's what they told me. I might get in here and I might not. But anyway, let's let's get on through here. I got about six minutes after five. Is that too late for you? No, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Teach, Freeman. See, the right. Savior's day. That's right. That's right. His day. That's right. And it's our day every day. That's right. The Savior's day with us. If it had not been for him coming to us, we would have been dead ducks. Did you know in 1928 you was bound to go down into water? You didn't know that, did you? And with the same people that was going to do that, them people today is making automobiles in the USA. That's right. Them same people. When they come to Pearl Harbor, right. they could have came, yeah. That's right. The messenger told me, he said, they didn't have to stop there. They could have come on up here because they had opened up the line to go. But that was well far as they was to go. Master Farad Muhammad, we asked him about that when he came. We asked him. He said, yes, I went there and stopped it. Yeah, they was coming. Because you was yeah you didn't you had never heard about Islam right? That's right. You was as dumb as a best of bug marrying a rattlesnake. That's right. That's right. <laughs> never heard about Islam. White folks now gets all of your knowledge to have black uh, 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 black history. And what I put our people talk about. And those that got money, what do they help with? Your old Mayor Coleman got plenty jack. Him and his brother got plenty jack. And this fella, black man, now look, look at this here, brother. Here's a black man, he wants to buy tigers. The ball players park, and, and, and if you buy the park, he got the, got the people. Now what the hell do he wants to go try to buy the tigers for? And that's going to cost billions of dollars. So I don't need to buy that factory over there and put us to work. That's right. That's right. If he want to do something for us. That's right. A black man. And he's running up against the richest man in the world. And that's Ford, Elsa Ford. They got so much money, 
here and in other countries that they can't even count it. Before the old man died, they had some money in a foreign bank and they wrote them and told them that uh, they had some money there and they said they had forgot it. They didn't know nothing about they had the money over there. Yeah. Look how much money they lost. Almost three billion or something last year, right? Lost that much. He ain't crying about it. Here we is, can't get a house to stay in. Staying in these cold places, dying every winter. That's right. No home. Why don't you come here and let's pool our pennies together? That's right. That's right. Get enough money. I see that you get on a house. That's right. Well, would they let you have it? Hell yeah, they'll let me have it when I get through with them. That's right. That's right. You didn't burn it down before. <laughs> Oh, praises is due Allah. That's right. Come on. That's right. And that's what we did going down. We went in our own. Craziest thing I had ever seen in my life. Read about. I ain't never read yes, about nothing like that. Went in our own community and burned down our own place that we were staying in. Thinking that you were going to rebuild. And look where they land. Ah, you are in a bad shape. Why don't you come to Islam? That's right. That's right. Fill me up here with people. I'll buy Highland Park for you. Yes, sir. I don't need it for myself. No, I'll buy it for you. You give me the money, I'll go in front for you. And I don't have to carry all of you down to the man to see. Yes, sir. Me and one or two more to let you know that I did it. And see and talk to him. Because if I take all of you there, he ain't going to do it. Yes, Tell him how many you got. Did not you know, brothers and sisters, that 42% of the black peoples in America believe in Elijah Muhammad? But they're just scared of walking up and down the street? Scared. And 42% of the people believe in Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad. Here we are, walking around, can't buy a bowl of bean soup. No place to live. That's right. No place to live in. That's right. Why don't you come on and get together? That's right. A few minutes, I'm going to ask everybody to join. I, I don't ask for one. I ask everybody to come here. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what uh, religion you belong to. I don't care what organization you belong to. Let us unite together. That's right. Black man history. Our first lesson, student enrollment. The first question, number one, who is the original man? That's the first question asked you in the student enrollment. That was the first lesson that we got from Master Farad Muhammad. Who is you? You is the original man. You is the ab original people of the earth. And he is the God of the universe. Look how powerful that is. And the devil's got these in his offices downtown. They know it. We hoped and hollered it in on Hastings Street until the police 
wouldn't pass by our temple, they'd get on the other side of the street. That's right. You don't need a gun to go shoot somebody. Just unite. Just get together and be yourself. Then the question asks, where is his home? This is a part here that Master Farad didn't put in the question. This is added while you are answering the question. A lot of people don't know that. But many a times have I asked because I was an examiner of people uh, after they learned to recite this lesson by heart. Who is the original man? The Asiatic black man. He is the original man, you. You are not American, Afro-American. You are the Asian man, Asiatic man. Old man you is. You owns everything on the earth. Everything in the earth. You made it. You created it. Where is his home? His home is all over the planet. That's right. 196,940,000 square miles is your home on this planet. And today, this war that's going on is asking you to unite. Unite. Because this earth belongs to you. We tired of being ruled under this ruler. That's why it says and you is the ruler. That's a lie. The white folks put that in there to make you obey them. All of the rest of the prophets that was before them, they haven't come back. The next question is two that I wanted to have. Who is the colored man? Yaqub's made devils. That's the colored man. Thought you never was colored. Colored means something that has been dipped and dyed from its original uh, uh, identity. And now it's colored. I have colored you. Jeez. Not that uh, you is that people. No. Yaqub dipped the people that he brought out from uh, uh, the Holy Land into uh, this Isle of Pelon. He dipped them into a color by grafting them for 600 years. Then you became a color people. Tell the white folks that, oh, I don't care. Tell them where you got it from. Got it from Elijah Muhammad's brother. He says, Master Farad Muhammad told him that. Then I can bow my head to you and say, that's right. Care nothing about what he called him. He know that we tell, says he's the devil. One asked me one time, he said, do you believe white folks was the devil? I said, did Master Farad say so? He looked at me, he knew then what was next. <laughs> Told him, yeah, I believe white folks is the devil. I said, all of them. That's right. That's right. Colored man. We used to walk around, don't call me a nigger. Uh, that make me mad you call me a Negro. Call me color. And he was saying the same thing all the time. Same thing. Now, we'll come back to that one next time we meet up together. Question number one in the lesson number two. Watch how Master Farad is talking 
and what he's giving you. Question number one says, who made the Holy Quran or Bible how long ago? Who made it? And the answer is, the Holy Quran or Bible was made, is made by the original people who is Allah. Now you got so long a time for it to last. It, this Bible here is to last 9,080 years. Oh. At the time that it was, uh, the question was answered in 1934. Master Farad asked that question. He asked all of those questions. The messenger ain't made none of these questions. People saying the messenger made this lesson and this lesson. No, he ain't made nothing one of them. Tell them to come see me. I'll prove it by Master Farad's handwriting. That not nothing made by the messenger. He just answered the question that he had learned from Master Farad Muhammad in the history of Islam. Then somebody, dogs, want to get up here then and tell you or, uh, or talk about the uh, black history. What does he know anything about black history? He don't know nothing. That's right. He's dumber than a best of bug marrying a lion. That's right. Come on. Don't know nothing about you. No. Who told him? This knowledge was uh, hidden. It was to be hidden for 6,000 years. And at the end of 6,000 years, then you could teach it. Plenty of white folks today think they are the best Christians on earth. Yeah, they want to talk to you, make you Christian. Right. Like the leaders of the JW, Jehovah's Witnesses. That was organized by Pastor Russell and Judge Rutherford, white folks. No black folks and our black women and men walking up and down the street knocking on people's doors before they can get up in the morning. I wish I had people here would knock on people's doors to sell our paper. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. But we can't even get them to sell the paper. Or to buy it, rather. Can't get them. Worst thing in the world for black people to do is to lick white folks' boots. Yaqub and his people made a colored man from a black people by grafting them from a dissatisfied group of people who belonged to the Asiatic people. They was dissatisfied. Come back, I'll tell you more about it. So did Master Farad Muhammad came and used also a group of dissatisfied people, black in America, to grab back to righteousness out of that which they were put in or grafted in by the people, the colored people. You was grafted into that which the colored people have for you, the white folks. And now you lack it. So much so that they don't want to leave their white folks. Come on. The colored folks. When you say you're colored, you're saying you're a white man. That's right. Right. <laughs> Yaqub, that people Yaqub had made, Yaqub used technology, meaning lies and truth mixed, so they would believe in him, in his grafting of people from a black man and woman. Yaqub was a prophet. Lot still know that, you know because his prophecy come true. 
Yakub was a prophet, a scientist, and a god in his day. That's right. That's what Yakub was. The man who made white folks. But his godship was the god of evil. For six thousand years from the people that followed him, the black people. He made a white Caucasian people. Their time, listen good now, their time expired in 1914. Yes, sir. Which means from the year of 8,400, the year Yakub was born, plus 600 years to make the white race. That brings us to the year of 9,000. Yakub himself limited that time. He gave the time of the white peoples to live was 6,000 years when he was six years old. And that stands true with you. You have a time to be grafted. But it won't be 600. Yours is in six days. And it's not mean in 6,000 years. One of these weeks that is carrying seven days in a week. Every black man better say that he's a Muslim. That's right. If not, off comes your head. That's right. Teach me, Listen. We're teaching. <laughs> Go ahead, teach it. So he gave them this time. When he was six years old, therefore 9,000 plus 6,000 equals 15,000, right? That's right. Now, and the time expired in the year 1914, right? That's right. Everybody knows that. The devils knows that that time expired in 1914. Everybody knows it, but the believers of black people in Christianity. That's right. Now, 1914, subtract from 1992. You have 78 years. From 1972. 78 years. That seven. Oh, excuse me. It was good. But. I know that peppermint would make me feel better. That was a belch. <laughs> From here, if you could sack up, well, say all the belch that you can belch in one day, you can blow up the Penascot building. <laughs> <laughs> Master Farrar taught me that. <laughs> That's right. There's enough gas there to blow up the Penobscot building. I'm giving you facts today. Yes, sir. All sir. I'm telling you is truth. Three hundred and seventy-eight years was the exact 
number of years at the coming of Master Farad Muhammad. Then he came in 1930. And subtract 1914 from 1930. You get the answer 16. And in Revelation 22 and 12 says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give according as your work shall be. That's one thing I wish I had about two hours with you. Yes, sir. Work. That's what, that's what the, where the messenger would take these people and throw them in the lake to come back and find that all the work that he has done building for you and me is not going to the dogs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just to think, he bought three farms and was asking for a million acres of land uh, to buy, rent, or uh, lease any way that uh, any way that you want uh, wanted it. He was asking the devils for it. He was getting so powerful that he said, "If you can't give us a state, we abide." Yes, sir. And you can. If you, if enough people was here with me in Highland Park, I'd buy it. I'd buy Highland Park. She already broke. That's right. John don't know what he done. If I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> can you do better? I'll go someplace else and sit down there one and listen to you. You be it. I don't hold myself up here just because that I can do these things. No. You can do it better, you do it. It's 16 years. And in Revelation says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. <clears throat> 1930 being the year Master Farad Muhammad appeared in America to rise Messenger Elijah Muhammad. This proves that Allah in person came quickly. Right? That's a proof to it. No, that ain't good enough, is it? Sixteen, these 16 years is equivalent also to what Yaqub said. See that they marry at the age of 16. Time was expired but black man's time of 400 years had not expired because he came in 1915 black man came here in 1915 and our time expired as a slave in 1955 Subtract 1930 from 1955. Give Master Farad Muhammad 25 years ahead of time. So the 16 means marry at the age of 16 or give you 16 years to reclaim your own because the prophet coming to a people with the truth, he only got 22 years. That's right. If we had came in 1619, 
which the devil claims, according to white folks' history, 1619 plus 400, it would be in the year of 2019 before our time would be up. Tell them that. It would be in the year of 2019 before our 400 years would expire. Meaning we have 27 years more. It has been said the Western calendar is off about 60 years. Then that makes Master Farad Muhammad words true. He said he was not one second early nor one second late, but on time. Come right dead on time to you. Now why did Master Farad Muhammad come? Our leader and Allah's messenger, Elijah Muhammad, taught us he came for the sole purpose to unite us together first. And it's written in your message to the black man in these words that he came, Allah came for the gathering of his people. And the gathering of his people means for the people to come in unity together regardless to what. Join yourselves together. Brothers and sisters, I would take up more of your time, but I know you feel, you feel like, you know, putting your feet under the table, you know, and seeing what's in the dinner pot. Well, I can chew now. I got that thing out of my mouth. So um, whatever you do, get on to your own kind in Islam and fear not. There is no God but Allah and Elijah Muhammad is his last messenger. You never had one and you was the last people on the earth to get one to come to. And now you have had him. So what should be there? Unite together. That's right. That's right. Get in your own nation of people. And let me leave this warning to you. Stay away from among white folks. You'll lose your life. Yes. You know the flood in uh, California? It ain't bothering black people that much. No, sir. It didn't. That's right. No. I know that. Now it's the flood of fire that one will bother us because it has been prophesied by the prophet That's that right. we will not destroy the earth by water anymore. It That's will right. be fire the next time. That's right. Join to your own kind. You can beat that prophecy of saving yourself because you're already living in the battle of Umbagetha. She's already here. I know it when it comes because I was told how it would act and where it would be at the starting when Umbagetha would start. Did not you know if Bush can go farther into the east, if he can go farther into the east and uh, destroy the eastern cities like he did Wake, what have you got people to go to? Destroy your people, then they come back here and say, nigga, picking the shovel. Right. Take off those 
white shirts, white suits. You don't wear them no more. I'm telling you what a devil will say to you. I'm telling you that he would put you completely enslaved. That's right. But the messenger taught me and taught others. He got four judgments before the fire. The four judgment is the rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. Come all four at one time and use a lost bitty. They don't all have to come together. Just send an evil wind and blow down from Nascot and the Rennes and all of those high tall buildings and they will cause an earthquake themselves by falling. And he loves to blow evil winds. He call it evil winds. I'm telling you the facts. You can believe me or not. This is the teaching of Master Farad and Messenger Elijah Muhammad. I don't care what others might say or do. Elijah Muhammad is not on Mother's plane. That's right. No, sir. That's right. He is not there. Don't look for Elijah Muhammad to ever to come back to you again. And never to look for Master Farad Muhammad to come back and give you a name to save you. That's right. Because the mission I've told you, get out of that devil's name and you right. can. Right. You who would like to join into the nation of Islam, will you come and take one of these? cards and fill it out. You who would like to join into the nation of Islam, will you take one of these cards and fill them up? Come get it, brother. Fill it out. You can give them to the secretary. Anybody show you where you can. All praises to Allah. Oh, everybody. 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 Where can I go without you? Hmm? Come on, water, will you? Break the water. That's what we used to say, break the water. But don't stay back. This is your day to rule. That's right. You heard what that clanman said? He's going to wait until all of the brothers kill out themselves. Then they're going to rape you. I have plenty of these. If, if the place was filled up, I still would have plenty of evil there. <laughs> this is your day, sister. I ain't trying to force you into this long. That's, that's against the will. But I want you to join Islam because the time is short. You're living in the last days. The judgment is now on.
What I teach here to you from Mission Elijah Muhammad, my brother, and from God Almighty, you appeared in America in the name of Master W.F. Muhammad, is facts and truth. That's right. If I've told you some lies, tell somebody to please come and stop me from lying. We got a gang of people out in the street saying they are Muslim and trying to teach Islam and don't none of them know Elijah nor ever seen him, nor ever seen uh, Master Farad. Plenty of them have never seen Master Farad. That's right. As Minister Farrakhan said that the boat was on Mother's plane, he wouldn't know Master Farad if he saw him. That's right. Many of them, brother and sister, you got three or four different kind of Muhammad speaks papers out in the street. Which one do you believe? Which one can help you to the rock of ages? Thank you, sister. I'm back. Be here every Sunday. I don't feel bad because you didn't take one. No, I don't feel bad. Because I know everybody is not going to take one every time that you speak to them. But I say this, keep coming. I have not scratched the surface of what I can tell you. <laughs> I have enough knowledge of God and the devil sitting in this old ball head, I'm ball head, sitting in this old ball head that can make the hair grow back on it <laughs> and make my ears do the boogie woogie. <laughs> May Allah bless you. I thank you for waiting. I thank you for being here. Give those cards to the secretary in the back. Show them where the secretary at, brother. Now I am finished for today. How many enjoyed themselves today? I want to give you Mother's Plane, but I don't know when. Keep coming, and I will tell you Mother's Plane, Ezekiel's Wheel, of what Master Farad and the Messenger taught me. May Allah bless you and grant you a peaceful night's rest and a happy morning ride. Don't go home. Don't go home. He won't ask you for some money. Don't tell him I told you now. <laughs> well, we have to have it, you know. White folks don't give us not one penny to help run our school. We're the principal standing here. Don't give us not one penny. They won't help us not for nothing in the world. That's how come I asked for billions of dollars from this man. Because from Bush, because I you know he ain't gonna give it to me. I should have said two or three trillion. <laughs> That's right. Well now I'll ease up on it. That's right. Because I know he ain't gonna give me nothing. He ain't gonna give me a penny to set up a university to teach against him. No. Master Farad said, you got to do it yourself. Right. Right. Yes, sir. If I could sing, I would sing you the song. But I ain't much of a singer. Who can sing? Hmm? <laughs> 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 
Nobody can sing. Okay, then I'm going to teach you how to sing. <laughs> One of these days you're going to be here, you're going to sing it. Sing it my way. Then you're going to follow. See, two people that are trying to do a job Neither one of them knows how to do this job. One got to follow the other one, right? That's right. Because neither one of us know how to do this job. So one got to be the leader. Okay, I can't sing. The song goes like this. We are fighting for Islam, and we will surely win. With our Savior Allah, the universal king. We are united with our nation and it's called by his name. Yes, sir. Now we're going to sing that. Yes, sir. You can sing. Oh, yeah. All right. Brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you and continue with you as I greet you in the, his name and in the name of all of his prophets and messengers. I salam alaikum. MGT, Supreme Minister. Yeah. Here at number one Michigan. We'd like to wish you a happy Savior's Day. And may Allah continue to bless you with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the teachers. Right. That's right. Thank you. That's it. All praise is due to Allah for him. All praise oh, due to Allah. Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable John Muhammad. No sir. Okay, then I'll have a shouting time when I get home looking at it. You will. Okay, thank you. They don't want me to open it, brothers and sisters, but I'm dying to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you may be seated. Brother and sister, I thank you more than numbers can reach. The last one is Virgin Tillion, and you can't go any higher. But I said times virgin billions. Yes, sir. I thank you. Yes, sir. I don't ask you for anything. I don't ask you for anything. I love you. Yes, sir. We love you, sir. As the old song used to say, uh, talking about the girl, says, baby, if you don't believe I love you, Look what a hole I'm in. <laughs> you don't believe I love you, baby? Look what a fool I've been. <laughs> I thank you, brothers and sisters, you who did not, and you who wished to and didn't and could not, I thank you just the same. You still my brother and sister. I'll step to West Hell and back for you. May Allah bless you and grant you your wish. Whenever that you want something from Allah, Think about it for a while and see how that will work. I'm giving you some power if I can. Think on it 
first and see how it works. But believe that you're going to get it. May Allah bless you and grant you your wish. I love you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.